In this video, we'll be putting an operating system onto a Raspberry Pi. This is the first in a series of videos where I show you how to get your 3D printer set up with Clipper Control. This whole series has been made possible by our video series sponsor, PCBWay, but more on that later. You can run Clipper on other devices, but in this video, we'll be using Raspberry Pi. And when we use a Raspberry Pi, we first need to install an operating system on it so that we can do other things with it. To do this, we need to download and install Raspberry Pi Imager on either a PC or a Mac. Insert your SD card and then open up the Imager software and you'll see this screen. This software is designed to be really simple. All you have to do is tell it which device you're using, which operating system you want to put on your Raspberry Pi and then where the card is in your laptop. The device you're using should be quite obvious, but if you don't know, it should be written on the board. When it comes to operating systems, if all you're going to use your Raspberry Pi for is to control your 3D printer, then I'd advise choosing the light option of the Raspberry Pi operating system. To find this, go to Raspberry Pi OS Other and then click on the light option. Choose 64-bit if you have one of these boards that they list. If not, choose the 32-bit. When it comes to selecting your storage, check and double check that this is the SD card that you've just inserted. If you've got another drive plugged in anywhere, it is possible to wipe it. I've only got one option, which makes it easy. When you click next, you're asked if you'd like to apply OS customization settings. To make things easier later on, click edit settings. In here, we can give our Raspberry Pi a host name, which is basically the name the device is given so you can find it on a network. And we can also set a username and password, which we're going to use in the next stage. If you don't have anything you particularly want to use, then just use a username of Pi and then a password of Raspberry. This is the default Raspberry Pi username and password. All I would say is whatever you put in, write it down somewhere. You can then type in your Wi-Fi details, which I've forgotten. Setting your Wi-Fi details here allows your Raspberry Pi to connect straight to your network as soon as it's powered up. You can then change your locale settings if they're not right, mine are, and then click on services and enable SSH. This enables you to connect to your Raspberry Pi from your computer once it is on the network. Once you're done here, hit save and then select to save the customization settings by clicking yes. It then gives you a warning saying that everything on that drive that you selected is going to be wiped. So again, just make sure it is the right one. And then your operating system starts installing, which will take a few minutes. So we'll skip forward. Now, while that's installing, I just briefly want to introduce you to our series sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay, as the name suggests, made their name in PCB or printed circuit board manufacture. But what you might not know is that they now offer a whole host of other manufacturing services too. PCBWay were very keen to stop me boring you with lengthy adverts in these short video guides. So instead, all I'm gonna do is quickly introduce you to some of the perhaps surprising things they can do as we go through the following stages. Now. I think we're about there. If you get any kind of warnings that say that your PC can no longer access the drive or anything like that, just close them and make sure that the imager software is still progressing and you'll be fine. Once it's done, you can remove the SD card from your computer and put it into the Raspberry Pi. And then plug in the power supply and turn it on. You now have a Raspberry Pi with an operating system that is connected to your Wi-Fi and should be contactable over a network. In the next video, I'll show you how to use a simple script to make the rest of the Clipper setup super simple. Click here to go to that video now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you there.